Oh, Blue Point did the remaster, you know? Oh, I don't know what's that. Like, dudes who did the Demon Souls shit, I don't want to say. I did the oh, yeah, and the. Shadow of the Colossus. Entertainment this stream. Biz and Cat, what's wrong? You look a little down. Well, it's just, no, it's nothing. I'm fine. You, you are? Are you? Well, then I think it's time to save the next part of town. All right, we still have two missing pieces out there. Exactly. Obviously, you can't count on Raven to take care of it, so that leaves you to be the one to go and bring back the missing area of Plajoon. Ugh. Storm, I want my family back. Why'd I have to take them? Why then does Raven scare you? What's her deal? Who is she? Why does she hate me so much? I'm just trying to help. Raven is just trying to help too, in her own way. And she thinks I'm trying to stop her. From one perspective, you're interfering with Raven and her mission, but from another, you're helping the people of Hexville. I really don't understand you sometimes. Aren't you the creator of this world? Well, yes, but that was a long time ago. I'm not quite as sharp as I used to be. Huh, some creator you are. Guess that means I just have to pick up the slack and make things right. Oh, uh, you're beginning to accept your destiny. Hundred and one nights. Don't look before you leave, just slide. Slide? What do you mean? Oh, you'll see him soon enough. Oh, jeez. Alright.
Oh. Hey guys. Floor. Touch lava! Ooh. Ah, I need the gauge. I feel like I'm wearing too much for doing those. <laughs> you can just be able to kind of fly through. Oh, jeez, we're not going to now. Like we're inside like a goddamn sun. Yeah, wow. Slide. I don't really know what it is. I think I did see it, yeah. Did you? That's my dream. Fine. Um. I 
eat too much drink. I don't know, I just wanted one of your Kool-Aid jammies. Got it. Or tasty. It tastes like blueberry. Yeah, it does. It's hot for lava. I want to from dive kicks. No, are we about to throw down? I told you before, I won't let you get away with whatever you're up to. Uh, what's to get away with? All I'm doing is trying to bring the city back. I'm trying to help people. I should have known you're one of Bolsey's pawns. It's just like him use someone else to do his dirty work. I don't even know anyone named Bolsey. I'm doing this for the people. Either way, it looks like I'm going to have to kill you. I'm not about to let that happen. Do it. I'm telling you, they made this freaking pogo gravity dive kick way too strong. Not that mind or anything. Ooh, they lost me now. Oh. 
Fade into the dang old mist. Let's be shooter. As la plebe, to let's choose to shooter. Laven to shoot. You know, that's usually the way it'd be, huh? Appear. Hey, not bad. Sliding kick. Mm. I know I've been doing that. I tried kicking while sliding. See what that's about. Shifting speed, that's something I gotta use more. Especially once I get it up. Ooh. Oh yeah.
<laughs> Some other time. Chase this thing back. See if I can do the slide and kick. <laughs> they need that way. My factory history. <laughs> oh, the slight drift is setting in, man. I don't like it. Not the big deal is the racing game, but fuck. <laughs> it's you! Can you see me again? Why is she able to see me when no one else can? Name's Nala. Do you have a name? Look at me, talking as if she can hear me. Been apart from my husband for so long, it feels nice even just to pretend to be seen. Hmm, if only she could hear me. She think I'm a ghost? This world is so unreal. It feels like I'm in a dream. If only I can find my husband in. You got one. something to grab them. There, but Lonnie's up and running again. The factory's back in business. Say, you heard anything about that woman with the crow? I haven't seen her in a while. Oh, all right, her. All the towns disappeared and reappeared her because of those shifters fight. No, should they just go away? Uh, no, no, that's not true. Uh, what's with that sour face? Say, you kind of remind me of that other shifter who was fighting the crow girl. You wouldn't. Oh, uh, nowhere me? Nah, not at all. Oh, I just remembered somewhere I had to be. Somewhere, sorry to run, bye. And then she's doing like the Michael Jackson lean, dude. What's up with this? That's hilarious. <laughs> she's got it. She's got the moves. That's hilarious. <laughs> Damn, I should have kept it. Just because, like, I did it in an angle? Yeah. <laughs> That's the new move. <laughs> Got nails on the floor. Hooks in the boots. Cat, just the girl I wanted to see. Oh, this can't be good. Elias, the King of Thieves, just announced his next target. Industrious Sacred Gym, and I need your help protecting it. You need want me to do something? Fine, I'll help, but no more working from the shadows. Well, after the last incident, we figured out there was a leak somewhere in the forest. So this time it's up to me and the other lead officers to stop him. A leak? You? Oh, don't be like that. They like my idea of switching out the real gym so much. They asked me to make another candy thing so we can try it again. Yeah, because it worked so well last time. 
It'll work. Don't worry. We're keeping the number of people who know about the plan down this time to prevent leaks. I mean, wouldn't expect the same thing twice, right? You patrol around the area and keep an eye out for anything suspicious? Don't worry, unless this is alias right here. God damn it. We're working behind anyone's back. The boss knows you're helping this time. Here, take this. Ah, oh, fine, I'll do it. If that sacred gem is so important to the people of this town, I'll do whatever it takes to protect it. Oh, well, that's a spirit cat. Playing old ghost dad. Thanks to help, little lady. I apologize about before. I've been hearing nothing but good things about you. Oh, boss. She has a name, you know. Anyway, thanks for agreeing to help, Miss Cat. This guy old guy here is Babosa. And I'm Sid's partner, Chaz. It sounds like this time my help's official. I really didn't care for sneaking all over the place. What do you guys think of Sid's plan? Be fine, sure. Sid might have a few problems. He's sharp as a tag. He makes a killer candy gym. Miss Cat, we've got this area covered. If you could go check on the fake for us, we'd appreciate it a bunch. The officers, they don't know they're guarding a the fake. For the good of the plan, make sure it stays that way. So I'll go check on them and, and the fake gem. Oh, do you think these guys? I mean, they're totally not shady, right? Totally not aliases, goons. Right? Officer, how about the patrol? Well, no need to worry. We've got everything under control here. My grandma's wish is to protect the sacred gym with my life, and I'm not about to let her down. Why would your grandma wish that? <laughs> it sounds like that gym is in good hands. If Haley shows up, let me know right away. Cat here. You said, is that you? How's everything looking out there? All's clear. Can you head up one of the towers and have a look around? We have to be vigilant. Alias is a master criminal. Alright, leave it to me. I'll head up and have a look. Yeah, I can't help but feel like we're in Shanghai, but whatever. Oh. I thought the ordinary here. Oh. So I saw the explosions. What's going on? Cat, I just got a call from HQ. Those are bombs planted by Alias. It said there's another one right below at the waste processing plant. Gotta stop it before it goes. There's not enough time for us to get over there. I get moving so I just need to find the bomb in. Yeah, find it in. Um, wrong button. Uh, there's no time to call back. I'll just wing it. Alright. Heard the man. How do I get in there? Oh. Uh. I see it, right? Uh. Seconds, dude. Oh, nice. All right, defuse the bomb. We should be safe now. Thank you, Chaz. What a relief. I wasn't sure what I'd do once I found it. Sid was worried sick. He said you got cut off. Well, he said to hurry, so. See you, Chaz, Katz, and Nevi. They're all over the place near the fake. There's a bomb now that Nevi, I'm on my way. No, don't worry. The uniformed officer's doing a final job drawing aliens in. They're the bait. 
What? Roger that, so I'll just head back to my post then. Okay, you go ahead while I call for reinforcements. I'll meet you there. Send you further instructions once you arrive. Oh, I bet he will. Okay, here's something wrong. Okay, where are you? Get back to the real gym and help the Bosa and the police protect the gym. What were you we saying before about the bait? Those are people, Sid. Forget the plan. I'm going to rescue them. No, don't go away! Fuck oh, yeah, we're going to Shanghai. Awful, the Nevi, the Nevi trapped some of our officers on top of the towers. Please, you gotta save them. What? Don't you worry, I'll bring them back. Rescue the officers. Up one of those towers to get a better look. Oh, damn. We just totally like. More of us who kidnapped, you gotta help them. Alright. Yeah. It just like around. Rescue me! Oh. oh, I'm sad. Can you save me! One of us is still out there! Please save him! My best fingers. That shit's cool. Meow. Meow. Oh. Like up there or something? Sorry, guys. 
Something light flashed before my eyes. If something feels off, why didn't they kidnap those officers and then just leave them there like that? Something is a mess, it's getting the creeps. You don't think Alias knows about the fate, do you? Yeah, something's wrong. Dust, we better get back to the real gym. Oh, yeah, maybe one of them. Oh no, it's the dude, the alias. I well, found you, alias. Why are you doing this? Sacred Gem is protecting these people. Why won't I won't let you have it? Poor Scrappy Kitten, your claws aren't sharp enough to scratch me. Maybe you should scamper off before I take one of your nine lives. First, my claws are sharper than you think. And second, I'm not going anywhere. This ends here. Catch Alias. Where do you think you're going? This is good. Ah, jeez. Oh, I think it's just when you slide into the dudes and all that kind kicks. That's kind of cool, I guess. Friggin' Michael Jackson slide on it. Get at that one angle. Hey, this is this guy. What's going on, kiddo? What's this? I don't know, what is it? Let me put it in my face. Oh. Hair or something? Yeah. I don't know, Bebop's hairs? I don't know, dude. Hey, what's going on, Quizzy? How you doing, bud? Beat this game on PSV years ago, so you got... It, yeah, it's kind of... I've always heard it's a game of, uh, you, you know... Didn't hear much, man. Any, anytime I heard anything, like, anecdotally about it, it's always, like, you know... Something special. And yeah, it totally is. You know, from the start. You know, and just, like, the movement, just slingshotting yourself is all over the place, you know? The whole, uh, comic book presentation... <laughs> You know, art connection, all that. 
No, yeah, it's crazy. It was like a PS3 game or whatever, I want to say. Yeah, it was like... Yeah, it was way ahead of its time or whatever, I feel like. How just, like, free the movement in. Yeah, it's still, to this day, yeah, I don't think I ever played anything like it. It's such an anime friggin' power and mechanic, just being able to shift the gravity, you know, whatever way you want it. And <laughs> very, just very, like, intuitive, you know. Someone, you know, I was already just about it, just based on the movement alone. But then, like, uh, then it, then it goes into combat, and you realize you can just, like, pogo from, like, uh, that's probably one of my favorite game mechanics ever, is just, like, you know, in 2D platformers and stuff, and just, like, attacking downward and pogoing off on something, and just, like, juggling and, like, repeating it. And just the fact that you can do it from, like, any angle is just, like, so freaking obnoxious, but like so fun and awesome at the same time. Yeah, interesting progression and world and stuff, you know? I, I like how it's kind of got like a little like collectathon, you know, it's almost like a collectathon, like slash like action RPG kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> You know, it's insane, you know, compared to, like, there's other games with crazy movement, but just, like, I don't know, the way, uh, it just kind of just gives you the keys pretty much right at the start, you know, even with it's, like, kind of, like, progression or whatever, like, even right at the start, you can just, like, kind of do whatever, <laughs> you know, like, there's so many games of, like, neat movement and, like, mechanics that, like, take forever to get to that point, and it's just kind of like, here you go. And it still kind of drip feeds a little bit of stuff here and there, but, like, uh, no, it, it, it's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I, I've been pretty pleasantly surprised by it, you know, to say the least. Uh, I'm definitely, hopefully the sequel or whatever is, uh, you know, half as cool or good or whatever. Oh, you gotta go for the eyes, boy. I know. Oh, damn. From the back. Oh, man. Nope. Yeah, we gotta, like... Get rid of they got like little skull caps on them. But yeah, no, talk about yeah, playing this game on the beat and being that, that would have been crazy just playing a game like Yeah, just like this, like cranked up to eleven but like handheld, you know. Like, yeah, it's a little bit, you know, that, like, the Switch and the Steam Deck is the thing or whatever, but, like, assuming you played it before that, like, you know, was just, like, I'm sure at the time it was like, my God, what a time to be alive, huh? <laughs> you just play something like this and you fall. You know, just such a game that, like, uh, you know, it just feels and just plays like a total dream in the best kind of way. This is just total, like, you know... You can just tell the developers or whatever, they just totally, like, went for it and nailed it. And just, like, floating and flying around in your dreams kind of feeling. Oh, man. I got it. Got it? That's what's up. You know, now you, uh, nice to hear, yeah. Uh, so, somebody else been getting that. Yeah, I agree. This is definitely like this is only third session or whatever, but yeah, definitely, definitely must play. I don't get. I don't feel. Hopefully, you've been good. You know, taking care of yourself, man. Playing some good games and stuff. Rolling with the punches. Oh, I'm just trying to get, uh, get a little session here and here while kids crawling all over me. Aye, aye, aye. 
Oh yeah, let's get in there. He's open now. Oh man, come on. We're near, uh, we, 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 that way, we dang near could have finished him. He could have kept her going. The gravity age just totally uh, just the whole management of it. it totally almost reminds me of, like a precursor to like you know some Breath of the Wild like stamina kind of management thing. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh. Come on, we gotta we gotta seal the deal here. Whoa. Sloppy jalopy. We just need to go in the front. We're going for these weird angles. That'll do it. This alias guy's kind of nuts, though. This guy ain't just some thief. What the heck? What the heck? He just been be like controlling these things like he's his business, yeah. becoming a crazy, uh. Oh god. But, oh god. Heavy dragon? A kid's dragon? Hydra thing? A hydra thing? I, 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 That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. Ow! Ooh. Here we go. I can't do it this time. She's gotta set herself up. Two part. Oh, here we go. That's I need to do my little special thing too, the triangle. I'm gonna wait for that now. Finish him! Oh, oh. Hold on. Oh god. Uh, oh, don't mind me. <laughs> yes, let's uh. <laughs> do it again. Coming in hot. Sure, we land or whatever. Huh? Get her stuff back. Stop! Stop! I'm coming. I'll get to give up. It's scary. There we go. Hi, good boy. I'm a little dog. Please watch me, Biba. the same studio like that Japan so the same dudes who did like the the Patapon and the Loco Roco. I want Roco Roco. Yeah I know. You were over there watching. Oh. What? 
was, uh... Yeah, that was a thing. We just got crushed. Mm. What can we say? Send it down, kids. Get away. Come on. Yeah, they're like her whole, like, <laughs> coming of age Ninja Turtles thing, just like living in the sewers. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Yeah. Sorry, I just had something I really wanted to show you. Go. Oh, quite a place you got here. I'm glad I made it down in one piece. Crabby Queen versus the King of Thieves. Cat scratches out Ailey. No, no, no. All right, Ailey's gone for good. Xville's new superhero, Cat Claws into our hearts. Not bad, huh? Gravity Queen? There's talk in the forest about pinning a medal on you. Really? You're kidding. I'm just trying to help the people, you know? I'm not doing this for any rewards. Oh, by the way, yeah? I'm help noticing your, uh, lack of clothing. Huh? Watch it, mister! Whoa, whoa, relax! You made for an unreliable cop. Sid was a friendly enough guy. Trouble seemed to follow him, and that trouble always found its way to me. Oh, Jesus. To admit, I love being called a hero. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah. Like that third part of the town. Whoa. But yeah, no, it bums me out. I, I totally probably could have rented this game at like Blockbuster or something for the PS3. No, I was a friggin' teenager or whatever. It was a friggin' probably been quite the conformative experience. You know, it was really. That's yeah, a super special game. Not too crazy about like, you know, the characters and story and all, but you know, it's all pretty like good and serviceable to, though too. I feel like the music keeps kind of getting better and better with each area. First area kind of had this like Willy Wonka golden ticket ass music, and I don't know, that was the kind of on the fence about it, but uh, you know, it was, it was a good time. Something about that third part of town. Don't tell me your Game Boy's dead, kiddo. Don't drop it. Come on, man. Huh? That's over here. Stop. Game 
downloaded some revenants, man. cool like tree thing the apple where apparently she fell from the start is really cool like in the center of everything games you know I feel like I've had my eye on for a while but at the same time I probably wouldn't have uh, bit the bullet on it if uh, yeah it wasn't one of those PlayStation Plus games or whatever. So, um, yeah, never really a uh, no surprise in that regard. Oh shit, what's that green name over there? Tato? What's going on, dude? Went to Yu-Gi-Oh! Local today for the first time ever ended. Second place. Oh, you got second place with the Junk Synchro? That's cool, man. I'm sure that was an experience. I used to go to like, uh, God, my old man used to take me and my buddies out every weekend. There was like a shitty local that they used to hold at the old, uh, Meyer. It's kind of like this, like, uh, I don't know if they have Meyer where you're at. I think it's kind of more of a Michigan thing. But like, uh, 
it's like a Walmart kind of thing, like a lesser Walmart kind of thing, but uh, no, oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. That's all I, I remember. I, I don't ever remember like doing that good at locals or anything. Hell, you're going there and getting like fucking pooped on a little kid, but you know, it's always a good time. You know, that's nice. Get out of the house and yeah, give me an excuse to get like a nice competitive deck going, you know. And yeah, that's super awesome. You did that good on your first time. You know, I'm sure it's so, you know, it's such a different game, you know, than like uh, doing it uh, where like, you know, so much of like the friggin', you know, online thing kind of like it goes through the motions for you and stuff. You get so used to like the cadence of that, you know, friggin' uh, playing in real life can have, a, you know, its own different kind of tempo going on. That's awesome, man. What's really good news? Oh, well, hopefully, yeah. Fucking uh, keep going back, and you know you'll be like real dark horse in that like uh, community or whatever. Watch out for this guy. <laughs> My deck is he? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Jeez, uh, you're, you're gonna be having like a friggin' like. Uh, uh, for the years out, uh, year or so, you're gonna be having like a friggin' like. Uh, bandolier like you know like ammo belt kind of thing some like crazy like <laughs> anime like belt shit that's got like a holster full of different decks <laughs> coming in slapping stop? kids with uh, different stuff I'm a fart right. stop <laughs> oh that's really cool man Most of them conceded since I forced them to stall or just played through their own. Well, I mean, I don't know. You played the game, man. You know? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, you, you gotta know, you know, when you're, uh, when they got you, you know, keep, keep the line moving. You know, what can you do? Watch me. Well, that's sweet. Watch me, Dad. That's crazy. Coming Watch in, coming in. Watch and, uh, me. Watch uh, me. Got a high, like, uh, you, you said you went to say how many, uh, like, uh, how many wins and how many losses or whatever. You know, is it like a big thing? Like a big place? Small place? That's cool, man. Find a, find a nice little card shop, nice little community. Keep it busy, huh, Gravity Queen? Nice pick. They got your good side. Yeah, I kind of like that angle. Seems like you're taking to this hero business. Yep, and I'm ready to bring back more of the city. Right, that, right. let's get started. Alright, we got another part of the city. Celestial Cat's got some goodies. So, you know, watch him, Dad, watch him. No one last, uh... Oh, you won three, lost two? <laughs> I'm sorry, was that like, <laughs> like, was that my kid talking like that? I swear, I'd just be like tuning her out. <laughs> I'm not even like paying attention to her. <laughs> I'm fucking dead, especially since uh, I started like uh, wearing the headphones again. <laughs> you know, she's a little bit older, I can ignore her a little bit better. She's giving me, like, total immersion, like, ignoring boost for better or worse. <laughs> Just lost to that. Hey, man, that's sick. Oh, hopefully you come in and, you know, be a little bit ready for him next to One thing that's really cool, you know, they, they got, like, the whole side deck thing. You know, I want to say, I'm like, actual tournament set, or maybe they do in, uh, uh, dual masters or whatever as well. I'm not sure, but you know, one person uh, just having a problem with one person is uh pretty scary. You can definitely account for like one person in one deck. <laughs> like they better they better watch out for your ass, dude. That, that's what I'm saying. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, yeah, a lot a lot of different people there, like. uh a lot of different kinds of decks, like, uh... Oh, that's cool, man. I, I haven't heard of a local Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament in a long time. Like I said, that brings me back.
Feeling okay? You're acting funny. Dusty, please, I need you to stay focused. You have to bring that missing part of town back. Now, have you ever, like, you, you played a lot, a lot of, like, physical Yu-Gi-Oh, like, before in your youth or whatever? Or, uh... You know, or, like, I, I guess paper would be the better word, not physical. Yeah, but then it's one of those things, like, you know, learning it, like, you know, uh... <laughs> even though I played it, played it in my youth, yeah, you're learning, like, uh, all the zones and all the stuff. But, you know, I guess that's one thing, playing, like, uh... Duel Masters and stuff, you know, for the bit helps. You know, it's just, say yeah, I'm learning, you know, you, you already know the rules or whatever, basically. Just did a little different, like, tempo to everything. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! Oh, dude, that thing's like a shark. Hit him in the butt. Yeah. No, not really. It was too porto. <laughs> well, hey, man, that that's pretty awesome. You can kind of come back with a vengeance now. Like, yeah, freaking, uh, you know, make up for like, uh, you know, and then, you know, because yeah, that, that that that's definitely unfortunate. Yeah. But even if you have cards, you know, you need friends that also have cards, and like, you know, I, I was definitely lucky. I, I, that, that was definitely one thing my friend group did for the long. God, we were playing Yu Gi Oh! from like, God, it must have came out when we were 9 and 10. We were playing that shit like, even during fucking high school and shit. You know, we'd go off and on, just like, we'd always like be playing that and doing some other stuff. You know, it was always a good time. That's good. I, I know that was what, a, you know, a few years ago I learned uh, Magic the Gathering with my wife. You know, we were, we were picking that before uh, we, uh, that, that was one of the things that helped me, like, really get the rules down a lot, you know, was uh, because they just being so, like, fundamentally different than Yu-Gi-Oh! was, uh, yeah, just playing the online game, you know, for, like, so long. And what's great about, like, playing the online shit is, like, you can't, like, you know... Oh, damn. Yeah, we only have, like, so much oomph here. Fuck those. You know, it, like, doesn't let you cheat or, like, you know, not follow the rules. So it is one of those things if you really just stick to it, like, you know... It is, it's a great uh, learning tool or whatever. That, yeah, that's really awesome, man. And you're able to, like, uh, you know, take that love hobby you've been doing. Because I don't know how long you've been playing the dual mag, you know, the past couple months or so. Be able to take that and, like, uh, oh, this is a cool lotus flower thing. Take that shit to another level. Because, you know, I, yeah, like I said, I, I love playing the card game. You know, like I said, my wife and I, we played the Yu Gi Oh! We played the. Um, Magic, we play the Final Fantasy card game. We bust that shit off the shelf every now and then when, like, uh, you know, the kids, like, at the folks' house or something. But it's definitely always nice, like, going to a place and, like, getting to play with, like, different decks and different people. And, like, you know, cool environment. I'm sure, especially, you know, now that you're older, and, you know, you're actually driving, you know, you're not having, like, your friggin' parents friggin' dick you out there and back and stuff. You know, you can stay there as long as you want, shoot shoot the shit and hang out, you know, leave when you want. Yeah, that's sick, man. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, really, uh, awesome to be able to, like, uh, get something out of a new hobby or whatever like that. Especially, yeah, you can go out there and come in, you know, you know yeah, to never, like, be in that kind of environment before. 
You know, it's, it's so I'm sure it was so different than like uh, like I said, I haven't checked out the Duel Masters or whatever, but like you know, I've seen you know, like you of the clips or whatever you're showing me, but like you know, it's gotta be just like I don't know, man. I I totally would have been like nervous and shit. I mean, at least it's like, you know, I guess one thing, you've probably, like, been to, like, fighting game tournaments and shit, so, I mean, I guess compared to that, you know, a nice, like, turn-based, at-your-own-pace kind of thing, but, like, still, you know, it's a totally, like, different, like, you know, <laughs> you know, way to, way to get out uh, outside of your comfort zone or whatever a little bit, you know? Going out and like getting gooey with some other like people with some uh, like minded interests and you know getting down and fucking yeah yeah getting it getting second place that's so sick and why is it, is it like one of those card shops or like places where you like uh, first second third or was there like any kind of like prize thing you gotta like. Uh, Pay like five, ten bucks, yeah, get like a slice of pizza, can of pop, hang out, and you know, you win, you get a couple packs kind of thing. I always thought that was pretty cool when places did that. Car shop was supposed to win a pack. <laughs> well, that's cool, man. And you got a pack for admission. Well, that's sick, man. That's really cool. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I imagine you're just kind of like fucking all geeked, geeked off of fucking kicking ass and taking names and shit. You forgot all about the pack. <laughs> oh well. Uh, next time. Oh jeez. Yeah, be careful. We don't have guy have like infinite shit. Stuff's getting tricky. Uh, what? That's cool. We're, we're pretty, pretty close. Didn't have to go on too much of a pilgrimage or whatever for it. Definitely a place you can kind of like, uh, they, they got shit going on every week and stuff. About to fit that into the routine or whatever. this game but uh, yeah no I've always had my eye on this game too it's one of those things I still probably would have never took the bite if like uh, you know it's one of those PlayStation Plus games or whatever and uh, nah yeah this game really kind of been blowing me away right from the start you know the movement alone was so sick but then it's just like you know I, I this game could have been like a quarter as cool as it was and like uh it, it, all I had to do was throw in this damn, like, uh, you know, I'm such a sucker for any game that just has, like, a logo mechanic where you can just, like, attack downward and, like, bounce off them and attack again kind of thing. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, just the fact that you can kind of, like, do this gravity pogo dive kick and, like, do it from, like, any fucking angle. You can just make any area downward, or, like, any angle downward. It's just so fucking sick, I swear to God. <laughs> definitely, definitely a huge sucker for it. But you know, yeah, really cool just uh, presentation. You know, I really like how it leans into the whole like cell shaded superhero aesthetic kind of thing. You know, I'm, I'm definitely excited. Oh, it's, they're all on top of it. We had to get this thing from the top ropes. I saw it! 
Pop your zit. Let's go. Let's go and get to get That's right, there's like other ways you can attack too, but like I don't know man. Um, freaking uh gravity dive kick so sad, so I don't know. We might have to come up with something though. With this whole like limited shit, this area is kinda wild. Not letting us just go all loosey goosey. We only got like one little dash on us. Oh, we got a heel around here. We can get there. Yeah. Might be able to get there. Yeah. Count it. Oh! I forgot. We totally got our crazy special thing. We should probably use that. Oh yeah, damn. Sure. That spiral energy. <laughs> but yeah, they're just the most anime ass like mechanic, you know, that's like so simple and intuitive, but like so awesome. You're just being able to like look in any direction and just be like, okay, I'm following this way. Press the other like bumper, you know, L1 thing to just reset the gravity at any moment. Like just being able to like dive kick like a madman from like and bounce, bounce around like from anywhere all over the place like it's a great time it's super fun like how it's kind of like some action rpg collectathon kind of shit you know you kind of have like this main world and then you keep like going to these segments and like restoring like ch big old chunks of it Kind of some neat mystery shit, but you know, I still don't completely understand what's going on with this whole, like, it's totally this, like, foil person lady, where she, instead of, like, a celestial cat, gravity cat thing, she's got this raven that, like, gives her some kind of crazy power. But no, you know, it's only third session, you know, I only we got, like, a couple hours in each session. I don't know how long the game's gonna be, but like, pretty much from the first session, yeah, you can kind of, oh god, I keep forgetting I only have a little bit of juice. Or they don't let you go a little bit. Kind of, yeah, definitely a must play, I'd say. But definitely hard to believe it was like a fucking, yeah, PS3 game or whatever. So full of piss and vinegar around like midnight, dude. I don't, I don't know how you do it. Oh. Oh, well spoken. Here, let's try this. I'm gonna do this stuff more. Yeah, definitely need to do that more. Jeez. But yeah, you're basically just slingshotting yourself all over the place, like, dive-kicking dudes, and yeah, it's a great time. <laughs> I say, yeah, this and the second one are on that play. I only got, like, a... What is it? I, I think in... October? My PlayStation Plus expires? So yeah, I'm really knocking down one or trying to knock out like as many uh last little bit of ones that I you know really wanna give a go. And then what that Sea of Stars comes out the twenty third, I'm definitely really excited for that one. I think that's coming out first day or some shit. Okay, kid, okay. Come on, Dusty. Now's not a good time to be acting up. I need you. Meow. Sai, what's gotten into you? Did you eat something funny? I don't know why I said Sai. Instead of going, <laughs> maybe it's getting late. <laughs> that was another game that like ended up being a total like you know 
honestly, like, must play was, uh, you know, ne never seen the movies or anything. Friggin', uh, God, that Guardians of the Galaxy game was so good, actually. <laughs> I loved it. That was another, like, cool, special little game, you know. It almost felt like some choose-your-own-adventure kind of shit, you know, like, kind of like the books. So I had, like, the neat little, like, small and big binary little choices that would, like, affect the game in big and little ways. Oh, God. Oh, God. So we weird only have a little bit of juice. How the hell do I get back up there? We can just... So just gotta keep going. Be patient. Ah, Mr. Come on. It's cool how they're throwing in this limited kind of area, though. Definitely making you kind of go about it a little differently. Yeah, and all the other, you just kind of get to it right from the start. That's one of the other things that's just really nuts about it. You're like, there's other, like, you know, 3D action games with, like, crazy movement. But the way this game just, you know, right from the start, it just it just gives you the keys, and you're just kind of going crazy. And it's just so simple to understand and get, and, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it just, like, resonated with me or what, but, like, you know, it's definitely just... I de definitely, I'll be the first to admit that, yeah, I have a super, like, soft spot and guilty pleasure shit for, like, any dumb pogo bullshit, so I almost feel like, in a way, like, yeah, my opinion, like, can't even be trusted, just because I like this shit so much, but, like, even without it, it's pretty, pretty safe. Oh, God. And then, yeah, yeah and then just the whole gravity slide thing, too, and, like, just being able to almost, like, gravity slide, like, almost, like, Breath of the Wild shield surf anywhere the hell you want, and, like, uh, just being able to, like, walk up, like, walls and ceilings, and, like, you just, like, truly change gravity, and, like, and yeah, you know, not just mechanically, but just, like, you know, the details and, like, the animations and, like, the effects, like, how, like, her skirt and hair is just, like, you know, flying all over the place, and when you're, like, hanging upside down, you know, or, like, you know, pigtails are just, like, drooping down, and, like, you know. So the characters in the world aren't, like, crazy good, but, you know, they're super serviceable, and honestly, I think it was, like, pretty ahead of its time with the whole, like, waifu shit. Because the game's definitely leaning into the whole, like, waifu shit, for sure. It's like a weird sideways lighthouse thing. I don't know. This whole area is like weird fever dream. Oh, they're like coming out of this thing. Gross. And just uh, you know, a uh, great game feel. Love how it uses like the whole gyroscopic like motion aiming thing to help you like fine tune your aim with the right stick. Yeah, I like how 
when you uh, do the. That's why I gotta like aim the circle with the circle with the rest of the What's going on with the cat? Old Dusty! You okay, man? Celestial hairball? Yeah, Neon's, I want to say it's made by the same studio who did, yeah, the Patapon and the Loco Roco. But then the remaster is done by Bluepoint, you know, the same dudes who did the uh, Shadow of Colossus and the uh, Demon Souls thing, I want to say. They them dudes can really do a remake. I played, like, all of uh, those other two games in the past couple of years. Pretty, I feel like each of you have the Demon Souls, the Shadow of the Colossus, and this game. I never played the original game, I guess, to really, like, say either way, but, like, I, I really enjoyed every game that <laughs> uh, Blue Point Studios, like, remade, for sure. I defeated that Nevi in the Rift Plane. How to cross over into the city. Are you feeling better yet, Dusty? I'm gonna need you. Oh, cool. Now we can go crazy. Yeah, I really, like, you know, the whole, like, We've got the like, comic book panel stuff, and you can like pan it around and like move it around like it moves with your controller. Kind of feels like you're like holding the book. Yeah, I got it. I'm actually, not gonna. I'm feeling kind of naked there for a second. Not being able to go crazy. I don't know what's going on here with this. Just go for it. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That was dumb. That thing has spikes. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> yeah, another game, uh... What, besides that Sea of Stars that's coming out? They, they had a bunch of games coming out on that PlayStation Plus this month. No, another game I played the demo of, uh... Sometime in the past year, uh... It's a cool roguelike game, uh, that Curse to Golf. I don't know if you saw that Curse to Golf. That Curse to Golf was, uh, I'm definitely excited to get my hands on that. And yeah, I don't even get uh, what a month or so I played that. Dude! No. No. Tito. Dude. You gotta play Inscription. This is what you gotta do. Anybody who likes any shitty card game stuff. You gotta play Inscription. If you haven't played Inscription, you gotta play the shit out of Inscription. <laughs> like, that's my one game recommendation of the year for you. If I can recommend any game, like, anybody who loves, like, just shitty card game stuff, I don't even want to spoil anything or fucking get into it at all. But, yeah, if you can just listen to a motherfucker, yeah, do yourself a favor and check out that Inscription. Man, that shit was a fucking treat. I know, I know, I'm doing my best here. So that was a game I've had my eye on for a bit. Yeah, I uh, wouldn't have bit on nearly as quick as I did if it didn't freaking it wasn't those one of those PlayStation Plus games, man. But that's definitely a game I just need to buy again for the PC. It's definitely a game I'm gonna have to probably play like every couple years or so. I don't know. I love that inscription. Well, what a goddamn special little experience that was. I don't know who you are, but you really saved me. Thank you. The new special defense force, Shifter, head up Storm Shield Tower and take out that Nevi. Exville has a special defense force? Alright, cover me. I'm going in. Going down. Amoeba! Mm, giant flag mass amoeba fuckers. I'm about to pogo the shit out of these amoeba fuckers. And you can't stop me. 
Nobody can stop me. It's what must be done. Oh, me. Gotta do it when he opens the goods! Gotta time it out! Ah, oh, god. Throw it in! Yeah. Oh, wrong way! Whoa! Whoa! I'm running out of juice! Where's my blues? Down it. So she always be sounding like uh, Leela from Futurama when she can do her down kick sometimes. Yeah! <laughs> it's that classic, like, karate dive kick lady sound. <laughs> oh, dude. I was say, from, that would have been from the back. Oh, what? That would have been from the back for it. All right. Sniping this fucker with this dive kick. Come on. Too much? Don't do it again. Come on. Ah. This is ridiculous. Alright. I should have saved it from the big dog, but oh well. Fuck him. Oh. Uh, you mean, like, take them all out? But they're spiky! I was gonna say, those things are way too spiky. I ain't touching them. This thing's got metal. The core's exposed! Now it's my chance! I'm coming for that ass! Whoa! 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 What's up, fellas? Yeah, I love this fucking game. I, I just love it. I don't know. Any game with a solid dive kick, I already love. But yeah. Just <laughs> just being able to make any ground the high ground is just so fucking obnoxious in the best way. <laughs> the world's definitely kind of your oyster with this shit. Even though I just keep kind of fucking cannonballing myself at the fucking thing. I don't know. I can't help it. So fun. Probably like a million ways you'd go about it, but <laughs> fucking dive kick. Oh, oh, oh! That's uh... no. Gonna get some greens. Maybe I should, uh... Oh god, and I do have 1,300 gems. I should upgrade my health a little bit so this doesn't happen. Oh god. You want to talk about rip, dude. My controller's starting to fucking drift. Ain't that some shit. Uh, so far, at least, it's just minor, but... You know, it's gonna not be minor. Eventually. Ugh. Oh, yeah, there we go. 
to my help. Oh damn guys. Alright then. You need to be patient with these clowns. Wait for them to open up. Then go. Ah. I just miss anyway. Ah! There you go. Oh, yeah, maybe use my air dodge, too. That might help. You totally just, like, air dodge. Yeah, start doing that after a dive kick. It'll help me position myself, actually. So, count. She can sit pretty for a second. We're cool. She's flying around too goddamn much. <laughs> sit there and wait her turn. Hey, don't make me do it. Is that thing coming for me? Ah, I think they are. No wonder you got in my business. I thought I just like kind of fell, but I think they are kind of moving at me. Might be an issue. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's almost there. Gotta throw ourselves in front of them before we do it and kind of position it. Oh, shit. Hey, guy. Come on. Oh, he's getting close. These skeeters. They say, there's a mosquito on you, Peter. Whack it off.
good. I didn't want to knock that out. It is about time for bed, unfortunately. Had the kid freaking sound like she settled down. Maybe we should bed upstairs or something. A gravity shifter cat, I'm Yuri Gernox, Special Defense Force Commander. Oh well, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Gernox, sir. The police have been overwhelmed by the growing Navi menace. We're stepping in to become the line of defense this town so desperately needs. I've looked into you, you know. It'd be an honor to work together. If we had someone of your exceptional abilities to round out our force, we'd be unstoppable. Exceptional? My abilities? Oh no, I'm just... Huh? Yeah. Anyway, we're looking to strengthen the U.S. So I'd like to come and see you. I'm okay. Jeez, kid, I'm sorry. <laughs> My god. Where'd that attitude come from? Was I being loud? Share a common foe after all. If you agree, be placed under my command, which the course means the following orders. It means following orders. Following orders? Correct. If you continue the reckless behavior you've displayed thus far, and place our lives and the lives of our citizens in jeopardy, we must act as one. Hold on there, pal. I get that you saved me back there, and I'm grateful for that, really. Even if Dusty was a little off his game today, me and this guy are a team. We'll be fine on our own. My interest in the military and that mysterious robot soldier vanished with our conversation. Thought the good times could go on forever, but the life I had worked so hard to build from scratch was beginning to fall apart. Hexville's Industrial District back in production. Nevy destruction takes toll. City demands government intervention. Mayor Bolsey vanishes after the press conference. I'm sure the train station back in one piece. The train line's now operational. Okay, I can board the train the station. Wow. Let's see. Yeah, time to go back home. Get our save on. But yeah, you know, it was nice talking to you, Tito. You know, I freaking, uh... Oh, well, I'm super cool about the local thing, man. Oh, yeah, hopefully, you know, keep at it, keep swinging, keep, uh, you know, adding to it, improving your deck. You know, it's all, it's a whole fucking cool thing you're getting into, I'm sure. I don't know, I'd be lying if, uh, you know, I said I wasn't a little jealous. You know, it does sound like a good time. Oh, jeez. I can remember how to get home. One of these, uh. Is it, is it? Not you. Huh. Center Aldor, please. I mean, Aldor is, what, the, the starting place, right? Or is that save point? Don't mind. Uh, I know someone uh, came in and said they uh, got down on this on the Vita, or whatever, uh, at one point in their life. That's pretty cool, it came out on the Vita. Uh, you know, it was a cool game! Definitely, uh, I don't know when it, uh, you know, exactly when it did come out, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was originally a PS3 game. If so, yeah, pretty, pretty damn ahead of its time. If that's the case, you know, was Gravity Rush 2? Pretty sure that's what they're doing. Okay, I'm being quiet. Jeez, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, did it say when this came out? I think it would. This was just this. So this came out in 2017, yeah. So, I mean, then the other one came out in probably like 2013 or some shit. Yeah, I mean, 
what they friggin' did of it. Kinda looks like her and Crow Lady kinda become bros. But, you know, yeah, it's possible, I have to see. Anyway, yeah, I'll catch you later, man. You take care. You have a good night, whatever you're doing. You know, the one, you know, I have to wind it down, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, you know, I have trouble sleeping after, uh, you know, all the hype from, yeah, going to your first turn, man, fucking doing good and shit. That's pretty sick, dude. <laughs> I'll catch you around.